Nancy Cohen says that she is living a limitless life. And the reason why she's been able to do it is for the last 40 years, she's been ascending into the heavens every single day. And then the Lord shows her what he's doing, what he's saying. She comes back, she does it, she releases uh, what's in heaven on this earth, and she declares what God is saying. And so she says that each one of us can also live a limitless life. And that's not because you are spiritual or anointed or very intelligent or even very pretty, but it's because of practicing to go into the presence of God. And so today I want to invite you, listen with me, I'm going to walk here. Uh, down the river uh, uh, here in Paris where I live a beautiful place and uh, as I walk I'm going to listen to Nancy as she teaches us about the limitless life join me, God bless you about the power of what we call trading if you've never been exposed to this before and I'm telling you the truth when I first met Ian Clayton I was like I had died and gone to heaven okay for 40 years, I've been ascending and descending, and I've tapped into many of the mysteries of heaven, which some of which I'm going to share with you tonight. But well, the first time I ever went to see Ian, I was totally offended. And, well, of course, he's good at offending people. But, but, but the issue was, the thing that offended me was this great man of God standing down in the front and people jumping up and running and throw, throwing money at his feet. And I thought, how rude, how rude these people are. Because I'm thinking, here's this hugely anointed international speaker. And uh, they're, they're interrupting his anointing, which, by the way, is impossible. So, 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 but the issue is, as they came and they began to throw that money down, I talked to Ian about it in the break time. And he told me about a very brief teaching on the power of trading. Now, in the age of the church, uh, we had a whole lot of talk about the meaning of tithing. But I'm here to tell you tonight, tithing is infinitely more than what we learned in the age of the church. And actually, for many of you that have been involved in the teaching today, I can tell you with assurance by the word of God, you are the tithe of God to the earth. Uh, there's a whole teaching that goes with that. And in a minute, I'm going to call my daughter up here to talk about that. But I find that as people begin to tithe, which are to a trade, on the trading floor, the whole purpose of that is if I say something that really resonates with you internally, which I guarantee I'm going to, okay? If you resonate with what I'm saying and you reach in your pocket, take out a dollar, throw down the dollar on the floor, I don't even care if you hit these pants, okay? Actually, my daughter makes sure that it hits the floor because if you throw it into the basket, it has a limit to it. If you throw it on the floor, it's a seed. Okay? What that seed really reproduces is whatever I say that resonates with you inside. <laughs> oh, Jill, you are so awesome. <laughs> so whatever I say that resonates with you inside is a confirmation inside your spirit of what the Lord wants to do in your own life. Therefore, if that thing that resonates with you, you just take out a dollar. Don't, it doesn't even have to be a dollar. It can be a penny. It can be your earrings. It can be bracelets, whatever. We get stuff in trade all the time. And put it down on the floor. I can give you hundreds of hours of testimony of people whose lives had actually come into the full functionality of the thing I said that resonated inside of them. Okay? So I just want to encourage you. Now a lot of people say, oh, whatever Jesus gave, he gave freely. Therefore, I should freely give everything that I have inside of me. Honest to God, people, I am telling you the truth. I don't give a flip about your money. God is my provider, and he provides way above and beyond what I have paid up. I am not giving you this message because I want to gather your money, okay? 
I'm, I, I, I'm talking to you about training because more than anything else, I want you to be blessed and to be activated in the highest principles currently available in the heavenly realms. I'm not here because of your money. Actually, the truth of the matter is, I'm here by divine invitation of God Almighty. Now, one of, my, uh, 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 one, of my, one of my things is, I only go where the Lord tells me to go. I only do what He tells me to do. I only say what He tells me to say. And I only be what He tells me to be. And the truth is, I only accept an invitation when God says. Okay? So, the, uh, I, I, I've, um, I'm going to introduce myself and I'll bring my daughter up. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nancy Cohen. I've been married to the same man for almost 50 years. I'm in my 70s at the present moment. I have 22 grandchildren and five great-grandchildren. And I'm a living example to walk in front of you of the truth that God is about to restore the dew of your youth. And He is about to restore the rest to bring to the earth the restoration of longevity. The truth of the matter is, even at my age, I have endless energy without limit. Okay? I'm not bragging here. My, my daughter can tell you. I take my grandchildren on trips with me all over the world. I've been to over 130 different nations. I've ministered to over 90 indigenous tribes. I've ministered to over 40 presidents and their cabinets that are both Buddhist, Islamic, uh, Confucianistic, tribal shamanistic. And, the, and I take my children. And by the third day, they're saying, Nina, could we please get some sleep? <laughs> Actually, the truth is, we're coming in into a period of time where the Lord is going to release us from our human limitations. Okay? I've ministered to the richest of the rich, the poorest of the poor, all of the bankers, all of the billionaires, all of the barmaids, and all of the homeless in every nation that I go to. And I actually have boundless energy. Amen. Even at my own age, I last, two years ago, I went bungee jumping from the world's highest bungee jump. Okay? I not only bungee jumped, I dove off in a swan dive into a cavern in a, wa in a white water rushing river. I go skydiving, hang gliding, parasailing, spelunking, deep sea diving. I was, in a, I was in Australia not too long ago. I wish I, had, I could throw the picture up on the computer. I actually had an encounter with a great white shark. So, uh, I love the sea creatures, and they see much more than we see, and they hear much more than we hear. I'm down in, in Australia, and my dive instructor is giving me all these signs, telling me, because we have no communication other than sign language. So he says, when you see me moving my, my hand over my head this way, it means there's a shark overhead. Well, now, I love the sea. And so I'm in the most beautiful uh, of all the barrier reefs in the whole world. And I'm looking at these magnificent fish, all of the colors, all of the frequencies, all of the vibrations. I'm so enraptured by the ocean. All of a sudden I turn around and my dive instructor is going, ah, ah, ah. And, and I looked up. And my goggles hit the lower jaw of the great white shark. When it hit the lower jaw of the great white shark, it knocked the, the vacuum on my glasses off and my, my, my things filled with salt water. Okay? So now here I am, and, and fortunately for me, my dive instructor had a very good camera, and he has a picture of the mouth of this great white shark, and it's about twice the size of my body. <laughs> the, issue, the issue is this. You're coming into a release from human limitations. And many people don't yet, have not yet tapped into this. I'm not telling you some of this because I want you to think I'm a highly anointed 
uh, prophet of God. The issue is, I am no more anointed than any person in this room. Okay? You all have the same Jesus. The only thing that I'm sharing with you that the Lord has done in my life is because I have 40 years of practice, practice, practice in living an ascended life in the heavenly realms. That's the only thing that makes me different than any of you. Actually, you're going to begin to have many of these experiences yourself. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this session. Mm -hmm. So uh, please hit that like and the subscribe. In the next session, we're going to listen to Nancy Cohn as she explains about the third day and the seventh day and how the Lord is right now releasing the new mystical move of God. Uh, of course, the church is going into year 3000. <laughs> We've been doing 2000 years and then the whole world, I think it's a 2000 years from Adam to Abraham, 2000 from Abraham to, to Jesus, and from Jesus until now is another 2000, so 6000 years, and so now we're going to go in the, in the seventh thousand. And so because those two things are aligning, there's a new move, a new shift that's happening right now. And so it's very exciting, uh, and I want to invite you, uh, hit this, the playlist, you can listen with me to this session, and then also there's a like and a subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. Uh, you know, Unity with Heaven is a ministry that the Lord has uh, uh, told me to start, uh, it was probably three years ago, um, and then and the way we started is we prophesied to people uh, on Facebook, and then we, I started to teach, and then we started the YouTube channel, and then that started to grow, and, and now there's quite a lot of people that are part of Unity with Heaven, so the Lord is really doing something special in my life. Uh, and it's so wonderful that you can also be part of this family. God bless you.